Yo guys, White out here with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get double movement in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. Epic Games took double movement out of the game about a few months ago for keyboard and mouse players, but now Epic is allowing third party sources to use double movement. This was discovered by Benji Fishy about a month ago when he said on stream that Epic is allowing people to use third party sources for double movement, and it is safe by the way. Now there is two popular and easy ways to get it, but for this video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys one of them, which is free, so keep that in mind. Now setting this up shouldn't take long, so this video is probably gonna be really short. Well, with that being said, if you guys can subscribe if you're new, like, and all the other good stuff, that would mean the world to me about 95 percent of you guys are not subscribed so if you do subscribe that would really help me out i really appreciate it if you do subscribe like and all the other good stuff that would mean the world to me and if you do want to support me all you have to do is use my code white out in the item shop i appreciate everyone that's using it now shout out to all you guys so i'm not gonna waste any more of your time let's get right into the video all right so we're gonna be downloading keys to x input the link will be in the description most pros and content creators like benji and it's jerian use this link so trust me on this one it's safe now this is a mega.nz file I already downloaded this once because I used it before. So yeah, I'm just gonna re-download it for you guys. It shouldn't take long. This is the second link in the description as well. So all you wanna do is scroll down until you find the X64 link. You wanna click on that and download it. Okay, now once you finish downloading it, all you wanna do is run it. So yeah. All right, and now this should pop up. All you wanna do is click on next. Now I already have this installed, but all you have to do is after you click on next, check the box where it says I accept the terms and just click on it and then install it. All right, I removed it from mine. So yeah, now we're finished and we're completed with that one. As you guys can see, I already have it from before so all you want to do is right click and click on extract here and then yes it shouldn't tell you this but yes i'm gonna be replacing it just for this video all right so after that you should be getting two files one should be the readme so i'm gonna drag right here and the other should be the keys to x input now you don't have to worry about the readme but i'll just show you guys but if you guys want to read it go ahead it just shows you everything you need to know it's not that complicated it's actually pretty simple all right, now you can click on your keys to X info file. And once you click on it, you should hear a sound. So basically what this is doing is putting your WASD movement into a controller joystick. And yeah, you get three different options from here. So you get strafes, you get diag up, and you get diag down. So now you guys need to go into Fortnite and go into your settings. And for mouse and keyboard, make sure you have your lock input method as mouse on. And now I'm going to be telling you guys the best settings to use for this. All right, so I've been testing out different values, and I think these are the best options to use for it. Now for strafes, I use 2000. Diag up, I use 16000. And for diag down, I use 24,000. Now keep in mind, the more you go up, the more movement you'll feel. And if you don't like the way they feel, you can always turn them up or turn them down. So you can always change these, but I just find these the best. Also make sure enable alt zero and block keys are both checked and then you want to save configuration. And I'll tell you that it's saved. All right, now you guys can see that I have double movement from these trees. This is actually pretty insane. I, I did use these before, but now I turned them off. Yeah, as you guys can see, my strafes left and right. It's really helpful. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's not too bad. I'm not using too much movement on my strafes, but I feel like this is the perfect value. But you guys can always lower or raise it if you need to. But what you guys need to know is that there is a hotkey for enabling and disabling this. Now you have to press Alt and Zero. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because of problems outside of Fortnite. So let's say you're looking at something and you type in W, A, S, or D. It's not going to work until you disable the hotkey. So as I said before, our hotkey is Alt and Zero to turn off our movement. And now I can type in anything that has W, A, S, or D in it. So now I'm going to put it on again. And you can't use anything with W, A, S, or D. And I'm going to turn it off. And now you can. So yeah, that really does matter. You should keep that in mind. If you are using double movement, make sure to turn it off after if you're not playing Fortnite. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys can subscribe, if you're new, like, and all the other good stuff, that would mean the world to me. And if you want to support me, all you have to do is use my code whiteout in the item shop. Also, if you have anything you want to talk to me about, you can go join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.